hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys as promised here is the article that has led to uh, Femi additional Malambohadi spokesperson now having to live on his knees in front of uh, the new chief of staff uh, Ibrahim Gambari so this is a case of the past catching up with this guy as guys I bring you this Gambari the slap next time by Femi Additional. So this is an article that a Femi Additional wrote a uh, uh, way back in uh, 2008, and that is the headline. So again, the headline: Gambari, the slap next time by Femi Additional. So now here are Femi Additional's words from uh, July 12, 2008. So bear in mind, by the way, that this is 2008, and here it goes. So much furore has attended the naming of Professor Gambari as chairman designate of the steering committee of the Nigeria Delta Summit. Indeed, the former external affairs minister and one-time ambassador slash permanent representative to the United Nations would never have known that there was so much animus antipathy and antagonism towards him from certain parts of the country if he had not accepted to do the job offered him by President Umaru Musa Yadua. Let's consider some prominent voices that have risen against Gambari's choice and why. Professor Kimse Okoko, President Ijo National Congress said Gambari was not acceptable because he had shown clear signs of bias against the region. We will prefer a neutral person of international repute to chair the summit. We do not believe Professor Gambari is well kitted for the job. So this is the second time now. You remember, of course, uh, in Myanmar, he had the same issues when they felt he was not neutral and uh, fit for purpose. Anyway, let's carry on. Prominent Isoko leader, Chief James Otobo, and here is what he has to say. It is politically silly and belittling of the leader of the Niger Delta to say that Ibrahim Gambari should preside over the proposed summit, which in the first instance is unnecessary, irrelevant, and uncalled for. What of the irrepressible social activist and virologist Professor Tam David West, who incidentally was Gambari's cabinet mate in the Buhari regime from the early 1984 to August 1985. It is an insult for him to talk on Nigeria Delta issue. So that should be Niger Delta issue. And I think these are the words of uh, Tam David West. It is an insult for him to talk on Nigeria Delta issue. He was with me in the Buhari slash Idiagon government. So I knew him very well. He is no doubt a qualified academic, but the least qualified to be at the Niger Delta Summit to chair or coordinate it. He is my personal friend and he knows, but the issue we have at hand is bigger than Gambari. John Inye Owubokiri, coordinator of Niger Delta Initiative for Non-Violent Change, and this is what he has to say. The people of the Niger Delta have no confidence that Ibrahim Gambari, a beneficiary of the oppressive arbitrariness of the majority tribes over the people of the Niger Delta, can successfully moderate a summit to the satisfaction of principal stakeholders in the region. So I think it's going through all, uh, all the comments that have been made uh, about this guy in the build-up to what he has to say so he carries on and uh he carries on from here professor benedict ijoma professor gambari is an illiterate on matters concerning the niger delta he is not schooled in the fauna and flora of the nigeria delta ecology it is not something he understands so he cannot chair a meeting on the region, Daily Sun columnist O.K. Indibe described Gambari's choice as cynical, adding about the diplomat, and here is what he says. Whatever his gifts, he is a democratable poor choice to lead any summit on the Nigeria Delta. So I think he was being referred to as the Nigeria Delta in that uh, period. His apologia for the Sunni Abacha regime after the dictator Hong Ken Sarawiwa, an eight Ogoni activist 
ought to disqualify him. True, many of Gambari's antagonists have hinged their resentment on the fact that a permanent representative to the United Nations, when Ken Sarawiwa and others were hung in 1995, he described the dead as common criminals justifying their execution. By this, they submit that Ibrahim Gambari is a Niger Delta hater and a military apologist. That conclusion is debatable, but it may be an argument for another day. The truest of this piece is the dimension added to the controversy last weekend by notable Niger Delta activist comrade Joseph Eva. When I read his interview, I had a good laugh. Yoruba people say negative things often come with some form of hilarity. And this is what I found in Avar's words as follows. Jonathan, that is the vice president, uh, so good luck Jonathan at the time of course was the vice president to Yadua. Jonathan, vice president, cannot be talking of Gambari who insulted Ken Sarawiwa and Lidom Meti as common criminals. For such a man to chair the committee is absurd. I thank God that all Niger Delta leaders have told him they don't want any summit and they don't want Gambari. If they hold the summit in places like Port Harcourt or any other Niger Delta state and Gambari enters the hall as chairman, some of us will slap his face regardless of the presence of soldiers. Gambari cannot hold a summit in that name of the Niger Delta. Even if I have the opportunity of meeting Gambari, I will slap his face. Eva almost broke my rib as I read the interview. Imagine Eva with his muscular Niger Delta arms giving an aging Professor Gambari a slap. So it was even an aging professor then in uh, 2008 and fast forward 2000, uh, 2020, he is now the uh, de facto president of uh, Nigeria. We carry on. The man will not only see stars, he will see an immeasurable company of angels and all that at the venue of the summit that will attract international attention. What poor publicity for Nigeria and the Arewa people whose son have been so assaulted in the process of a national assignment. How will they feel? Won't we have another immediate strife on our hands? Now this question, is Professor Gambari qualified to chair this staring summit of the committee? Eminently so. The political scientist has made a name as an academic, an administrator, a diplomat and a peacemaker. But must he chair the summit in view of the dust that has been raised since his nomination by the federal government? The answer is no. It is not do or die. The Yorubas have a saying, you are not welcome in a town and you raise a song. Who is going to chorus it for you? If Niger Deltans, old and young, say they do not want Gambari chairman of the committee, is it by force that he must still preside? The decent and honorable thing was for the man to have declined serving immediately he saw the frenzy and hullabaloo generated by his nomination. Another lesson we must learn from this development is the veracity of the saying old men have long shadows. About 13 years ago, Gambari felt he was doing his representative as permanent representative to the United Nations when he defended the hanging of Ken Saruwiwa and others by the Abacha regime. Now the chicken has come home to roost. Must he call Ogoni leaders common criminals as he was quoted to have said, when you are sent a slave errand, do it as a freeborn is another Yoruba saying. Gambari enslaved himself to please his paymasters. Now, 13 years after, the shackles are still tied around his neck, threatening to exfixiate him. What an eternal lesson for fawning bootlicking grovelers to learn. Old saints, indeed, have long shadows. We have heard of slaps that hit the national limelight in the country. In the Second Republic, one governor of the South South, a dirty but resounding slap, and the much younger deputy rolled his sleeves 
uh, folded his trousers and proceeded to give his boss a good beating that it took security details of the governor to separate the combatants. We saw the same in both the last Senate and House of Representatives leading to the suspension of belligerent lawmakers. If Professor Gambari eventually chairs the Nida Delta summit against good advice and Comrade Eva carries out his threat, it will indeed be a slap that will ricochet not only nationally but internationally. So here is now Femi addition of course in 2008 uh, poking and prodding and mocking and ridiculing uh, this Ibrahim Gambari guy. So this Ibrahim Gambari guy, of course, he, they, they, he has this now trait, this thing that follows him around, where he goes on a mission and they find him not fit for purpose and is then rejected by the people or who are the stakeholders that he's not fit for purpose and his uh, neutrality and impartiality is called to question. So he had that in Burma, in Myanmar, so he's had that at the Niger Delta as well and that question is re-echoing again now that he has been appointed as our Malam Buhari's uh, chief of staff. So this is now the article and this of course what I've just read to you was written of course by uh, Femi Adesina when he was a columnist for the Sun newspaper back then in 2008. So here he is then in this article poking and prodding at this uh, Ibrahim uh, Gambari then but then of course revenge is a dish best uh, served cold so here is now the guy now as life would have it now being his uh, immediate line manager now and uh, Femi Adesino has felt the need again to take pen to paper and start writing article which are now the total 360 turnaround from his views as early as 2008 now loading uh, this Gambari, Ibrahim Gambari as a, a seasoned diplomat, a superstar, a gentleman, etc, etc. Now using all of these superlatives when he was using mocking words, not that no long ago, as early as 2008. So now see how things have now turned full circle for our Femi additional now for him to now find himself uh, on his knees in front of the man that he was mocking in 2008. Conversations in the comment section, Idobale position is what Femi additional finds himself in now. What says you? Come share thoughts. But before you do that, uh, click on the red subscribe button, so turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me now what you're making of the life and times of this Femi additional fella in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on within the comment section right here. I say, peace.